BBC School Report. I'm a Dower. And I'm Finn. It's top stories this lunchtime. George Osborne has introduced tax cuts to boost voters for the election. Many people were delighted to find the cost of beer, spirits and cigarettes nearly reduced. He has also announced tax cuts for the first-time buyers, workers and savers in his final budget before May's general election. A museum in Tunisia was savagely attacked by gunmen. Yesterday afternoon, 17 tourists lost their lives admiring the Tunisian museum. Two Tunisians, one of them being a police officer, were also killed in the attack. In addition, the two gunmen were killed as well. Two or three accomplices are still at large, an interior ministry spokesman told AFP News Agency. The number of used wet wipes littering beaches in the UK has increased by 50% in the last year, a survey of 301 locations suggested. According to the Marine Conservatory Society, this is because people flush wipes down the toilet, not in the bin. Wet wipes don't disintegrate easily, so sewage systems can't process them, and when they get out into the sea, they end up on beaches. Syrian government allegedly carried out a gas attack that led to the death of a family of six, including three children, along with a man, a wife and a grandmother. The Idlib branch of the Syrian Civil Defence uploaded disturbing videos on YouTube of the aftermath in a medical centre. Many were disturbed by the videos as they showed the bodies of three infants and a mother. The new £1 coin was designed and modelled yesterday. 15-year-old David Pearce had the pleasure of winning the competition. On the new coin, there are four elements to represent each nation. David and his parents were both delighted at the cash prize of £10,000, which would be spent towards his college funding. His parents hope the budding designer in him will grow. And finally, a mother aged 41 has been selling placenta smoothies and pills for new mothers. Celebrities such as Kim Kardashian and Alicia Silverstone have followed the practice. Medical professionals don't believe there are many health benefits. However, some say anemic mothers can benefit because it's full of iron. Thanks, Adawa. Today is the Cricket World Cup's match between India and Bangladesh. The match is live today, so be sure not to miss it. Bangladesh needs 303 to beat India and secure a place in the World Cup semi-finals. Last night, Man City were knocked out of the Champions League after a tense match with Barcelona. Man City were given the runaround by Barcelona. A sad time though, when Sergio Aguero's penalty missed, summing up his side's night, Barcelona won with a winning score of 1-0. And for rugby, England are bringing in Jeff Parlin against France, as England go into the final round of matches top off the table, but level on points with Ireland and Wales. Jeff did <coughs> well off the bench against Scotland and now has got some games under his belt. We feel it is the right time to start him and use his experience and quality in the starting lineup, said head coach Stuart Lancaster. That's all for sport. Back to Adara and Finn. Now it's time for your daily weather update with Mattis. Thanks guys, you're doing a great job back in the studio. Starting off with Scotland, Edinburgh will st be staying dry with clear spells and possibility of light winds. Temperatures peaking 12 degrees Celsius and through the night drops to 6 degrees Celsius. Going to our capital now, today in London, and weather is gloomy and cold. Highest de temperatures of 7 degrees Celsius and lows of 3 degrees Celsius. Birmingham's weather is cloudy and the maximum temperature reaches 11 degrees Celsius and goes as low as 2 degrees Celsius. It will be a dry day and bright in Manchester with hazy sunshine across the region once any mist and low cloud across the eastern parts has cleared. Newcastle will see early mist and fog patches lifting with some good spells of sunshine developing for many. Although cloud may increase later in the day, feeling pleasant in the sunshine and light, just light winds. Wales now, and for Cardiff, it's sunny. It's a sunny day. Temperatures reach 13 degrees Celsius and go as low as 3 degrees Celsius. The sun will be coming out through Pl Plymouth, and temperatures will go as high as 13 degrees Celsius and will fall as low as 3 degrees Celsius. Finally, over in Northern Ireland, 
Weather is dry and sunny in Belfast today as temperatures rise to about 12 degrees Celsius and later drop to 6 degrees Celsius. Back to you in the studio. That's all for now. Join us again next year for more BBC School Report news. Goodbye.